Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a ranking on all of my Pat McGrath eyeshadow quads and I have a total of eight of them. Um, I decided to skip some of her quads because I just don't really care for the color story or the sizes of the pants of those two quads. If you know, you know. But anyways, let's begin. Number eight. And this is the last ranking. I don't hate it by any means, but I just this color story is not for me. So this is Eternal Eden. This is her Lux Quad. I forgot when she released this. Um, probably like 2020, I want to say. This was the time when Pat McGrath was into pinks and rose tones in general. I mean, she always has created endless options of pink colors for you it's like you can never run out of pink eyeshadows when it comes to purchasing any of her um, eyeshadow palettes she will always include either a gold or a pink in her palettes you can pretty much guarantee that so anyways i don't really care for this you know all this like pinky tone color story this is like a one trick pony palette where you know any color that you pull and you apply that all over your eyes you will get a pink eye makeup look so if you guys are not into pink eyeshadows like me or not really into pink i wouldn't recommend this um quad at all but if you do love rosy pinky tones eyeshadows um this is a really great one because i love her formulation her quality is always always superb but I really love this movie matte. I guess it's kind of like a taupey pink color. And then I really love um, her shimmer shades in here as well. The only color that I don't care for is this hot pink, but I tend to use hot pink eyeshadows like this on my cheeks as a blush and it works great. So that's the reason why I'm ranking this low. I have no problem with any of Pat McGrath formulations. Next quad on the seventh spot, this is ranking a little bit higher because you see, you know, like one pink, one or two pink shades in here, but the brown shade and the purplish sparkly shade is what's saving this quad to rank a little bit higher. And this is the Risqué Rose quad. And again, pink eyeshadows like this, I use it mainly for uh, um, as a blush or sometimes when I want that light fanning pinky effect on the outer corner that's what i will use it for i can never pack a pink eyeshadow on my list it's just not my thing but the rest of the colors i do really really love like this shade i think i believe it's called lavenderin it's just so beautiful i love this color it's kind of like a silver um purple with a lot of glitters like i love her um, shimmery shades like this and it can get a little bit crumbly but i don't have problem with fallouts for this one so i do really really love this quad and this shade it's wow it's beautiful not as shiny as um this lavender in shade but this is a nice satin shimmery shade i meant it's really really pretty i gravitate towards this quad from time to time when i want to just a very easy everyday sort of look coming in at number six spot this is the fleur fantasia and i got this for dirt cheap but this is a very spring summery appropriate quad when i first did a tutorial on it and i was like pretty much tan during that time and i really love how all of these shades perform on my eyes i just love the soft look that this um, quad gives it has no depth like a lot of people complain about there's like literally no deep shade you can work with because everything is just so like muted and monotoned and that's why i love about this quad it's just you can use any shades and you know create like these nice girly looks with it i mean the pigmentation of pat's eyeshadow formulation is just so powerful so impactful i love it but i honestly thought that these shades were not going to show up on my um, skin tone at all but having a chance to play with it i 
love it it's just so gorgeous i know a lot of people don't care for this quad but i honestly really love it it's just such a unique quad and the salmon shade it's just so nice and it's just ranking a little bit low because you need a companion like a neutral palette with this um, a quad if you want to zhuzh up your look if that makes sense but this is a really really nice one so moving on to top five the fifth spot is nocturnal nirvana and this is what i call my peacock quad because of all of the nice jewel tones that are within this quad it's just so beautiful this turquoise color with the purple it just reminds me of what a peacock feather will look like and it's just so so beautiful i honestly don't like jewel toned colors on me personally but i had so much fun creating looks or a look i created a look using this quad but off camera i use these colors individually and they're just so 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 gorgeous like i cannot get over this turquoise shade i just i cannot it's just it's so beautiful and this moss green color and the pigmentation of all of these is amazing and i love gold shadows but my god and this purple right here it's just all of these colors are just so freaking just gorgeous like these two like laker shades amazing so if you guys love jewel tone shades and if you love color in general and uh, by the way these are all of her big shades and i wish that she would bring these back like you know creating quads with just only her special shades it will be completely like it will you know it will be out of stock if she decided to go back to her old ways because my god this quad just looking at it it just makes me so happy so it's ranked a little bit lower because i don't tend to gravitate colorful eyeshadows in general anyways but i did however picked up her latest holiday palette and i know it's like the most colorful one that she had ever released i believe but i want to play with more color in my um eyeshadow makeup routine and for a look that i have created today i can pop in any of these shades on my bottom lash line and just you know amp up my look a little bit but anyways i love this quad it's just so so beautiful so the fourth place is the celestial divinity luxe quad and in interstellar icon and when i created a look with this quad i don't like blue eyeshadows to begin with i used to love blue color blue and green used to be like my like favorite colors until i got older i prefer like you know nudes and browns and whatnot but growing up as a child i really really love um, green and then uh, blue so this blue is just my gosh so i believe this uh, blue is called hypnotic and oh my gosh it is very very hypnotizing it's just so so gorgeous i just i cannot describe the i mean the camera doesn't do its justice but there's like a slight purple shift in this blue for some reason and it's just so unique um i cannot find this type of blue anywhere else except in a path graph eyeshadows it's just i love this um, slight shift in it it's just oh my gosh it's gorgeous so for this color alone this is why it is ranking in my top four and i love all of the other shades that are within this quad this quad is of pretty unique and every time i whip this out and i create looks with it i just know that i'm gonna get really pretty looks using this quad this is definitely not an everyday quad it's definitely for special occasions and these are very very special shades so i love i love all of them especially that blue so and then it comes down to three the third spot goes to ritualistic rose i know that i'm not a huge fan of pink eyeshadows in general 
but these pink tones in here these are all her special shades in just one quad and i love her shimmery shades it's just especially this pink right here this is what sold me for this quad it's just so reflective there's like a lot of gold reflexes in this shade it's just my gosh this is like the prettiest shade ever existed in the pat mcgrath eyeshadow world but my god i love this shade and i also love this brown shade here it's like the perfect baked brown shade for me it's just it's so beautiful like when you pair these two together that's it that's a look right there so it's gorgeous i i absolutely love love this one. so compared to the eternal eden quad you can see that this is a much more cooler tone versus the warmer tone shades in here it's just i don't know i guess it all really depends on your preference but i really prefer warmer tone pinks on me personally versus the cooler tone pinks if that makes sense but yeah this is a gorgeous gorgeous quad and i hope that pat mcgrath will bring back all of her bliss esso shades in just a quad some someday but i love it so second place goes to iconic illumination and i didn't do a tutorial on this at all but i have used it off camera so many times and i always love the looks that i have created with this quad i have it on today and try to use it light-handed as possible because i don't want too much of that like festive grunge i mean i can make it appear that way but when it comes to eyeshadows in general i kind of like that soft kind of like everyday sort of look and you can create a very nice everyday look using this quad i even used this red shade on well it's like it's kind of like a red burgundy shade on like my outer parts of the eyes just blend it in with the deep brown shade and i try to use it as really light-handed as possible so that it helped diffuses the eye makeup look and it's sort of i don't know if it's appearing to look wearable but i love creating wearable looks using pat mcgrath eyeshadows and i feel like her eyeshadow formulation you can pack it as much as you want or you can be as light-handed as you want and the color outcome always looks different on everyone and that's what i love about her eyeshadow formulation in general but anyways this is a great palette and it will be ranked number one if it weren't for the other palette that came out i believe 2021 anyways i love this i will highly recommend it i know you can still get this quad so number one quad this is a controversial quad because not everyone loves this because of her formulation but i love love the color story of this this is the voyeuristic vixen and i have this rose fire nectar shade on the center of my lids today a lot of people complain about the rose fire nectar being too crumbly and too flaky too much fallout so what i do personally when it comes to really sparkly shades like this like you know that it's gonna be all crumbly i tend to use my fingers to apply the shade so that i have more control over the glitter and whatnot and i have no problem with fallout when i use my fingers to lightly and gently you know pat them on my eyes so anyways i love this particular shade a little bit of tiny fallouts but i have no problems with it it's just so it swatches so nicely all of her eyeshadow swatches so nicely but besides that one particular color i love all of these neutral colors in within this quad i feel like i can take this quad travel purposes and i can use it daytime nighttime it's just a no-brainer quad so that's why it's ranking as high as it should so anyways i don't know if she can make quads 
within this pan sizes and more interesting color stories at, at some point in the future but i will forever love mama pat's eyeshadow palettes quads in general i am excited to try her new holiday releases once it gets to ship out and send over to me probably gonna be like the last beauty youtuber that's reviewing her <laughs> holiday releases and her quince i'm excited to try as well because i heard so many good things about it anyway so i hope you guys enjoy my ranking if your favorite quad happens to be ranked lower no offense i love all of her quads to be quite honest with you guys it was just so hard for me to rank all of them i'm pretty curious to know about your favorite pat mcgrath eyeshadow quad if you guys have any please share that in the comments down below and i will see you guys next time thank you so much for watching bye